And don't forget, it's not just the upper traps that you're interacting with here. Lots of other muscles of the neck, of the shoulders. So try and get a hold of everything as we're pulling back. So you go all the way around the front of the clavicle and all the way around the back of the spine and the scapula, everything in between. Sorry, Dean. Nice and relaxed for you. I'm just feeling tense up there a little bit. So thumbs, it's good, it's effective, but longevity is not great because you can't do that for too long. So just switching between fingers and thumb focus. And if I really want to get into this sort of superior part, I'm going to just need to go where you are, Amy. Can I borrow your chair? Oh. Where I can push down, reinforce the thumb, and slowly work my way down to the scapula. Let me know if it's too much, Dean. Number? Oh, seven. Seven, okay, that's probably on the high end for me, so I certainly won't go any deeper. I'm trying to follow those fibers longitudinally. I'm thinking upper trapezius, levator scapula. Nice and slow and deep, and I'm really trying to feel what's going on under my thumb. If you've got slightly smaller hands, you can use knuckles for this. Let's give the man a break.